In Kelowna, the mother of a teenager killed this weekend is pleading for people to share what they know. Her son was hit by a car, and it's believed the crash was somehow connected to a Bear Spring incident. Tanya Fletcher joins us now with more. Tanya, what, what more do we know? Well, Dan, mystery really does surround what is now considered a homicide investigation, and it's really unclear how the events that unfolded are all connected. What we do know is that in the middle of the afternoon on Saturday, something happened involving a group of teens and that a number of people were bear sprayed. It was in the neighborhood of Rutland, and Kelowna RCMP were called to a park in that area around 4 p.m. While they were responding to the bear spraying incident, officers also received reports of a young man struck by a car nearby. He was rushed to the hospital hospital in critical condition and later died. Investigators say evidence indicates that he was connected with the earlier bear spraying incident, but they won't reveal how. Today at the scene, a memorial is growing in memory of that teen. He has been identified by family and friends as 15-year-old Tristan Seeger. We spoke with a teen at the park this afternoon who says he was a close friend. I've known him for three years, but it felt like a lifetime. Yeah. He was 15. And he lived three lifetimes in the 15 years he was alive, but you should have lived way more lifetimes than that. And Tanya, we've also spoken with the mother of the victim. What is she saying? Well, Dan is the mom of a boy who was suddenly killed this way. She's obviously distraught. She says the reality of what happened on the weekend still seems surreal and that their family is taking it minute by minute for now. But ultimately, she wants rumors put to rest and the facts of what happened to come to light that I want this to be a really clean case. I don't want any retribution. I want people who know something to go to the police. I don't want social media gossip and I don't want threats and bravado. Like I want this person or people brought to justice and I want it done the right way. Now, as for that investigation, no arrests have been made and the RCMP have not said whether they've identified a suspect. Dan? Tanya Fletcher reporting for us tonight. Thank you, Tanya. You